Oh. Get up there. Oh. <laughs> What's up guys, Hobo88 here and welcome back to iRacing on our favorite day of the year. It comes around four times a year, build day, which means new content. And this week, the new dirt track that has come through the iRacing platform is Millbridge Speedway, which you can see on screen here behind me. An extremely short track, only about 0.15 miles. Um, very, very small track uh, in Millbridge, North Carolina, probably half an hour or so from Charlotte, thereabouts. So. A really, really small track, really well known for uh, like micro racing and things like that, which are also released in this build on iRacing, so a very exciting day. Uh, in this one, we're going to go through and turn a few laps here in a couple of different cars. I'm not going to do my traditional uh, all dirt cars video uh, for this one. I'm going to keep it pretty short and snappy. We'll have a look at the, uh, the Dirt Legend first, the Midget, and then the winged and non-winged micro, and that's going to be it for this video. Perhaps one other day we'll do a video with all of the dirt cars, but for a track this small, most of them are pretty uh, illogical, I guess. So we're just going to stick with the cars that I think are suited to short tracks. Midgets are going to be a pretty overpowered car here as well. But um, in this video, that's what we're going to do. And without any further ado, we're going to get stuck into it. In the description below, you'll find timestamps for each of the four cars if you want to skip to certain ones. But let's get cracking. All right, so first things first, we are in the Dirt Legend. I've just loaded the Millbridge setup that iRacing provide for this car. And um, here we go. So infield pit area, not uncommon for dirt tracks on iRacing. Um, I'm not really sure that there'd be an infield pit area here in real life. Someone might be able to tell me, but I'm sure there's meant to be an exterior pit out through a gate somewhere. But um, either way, I mean, I can't even, it's so small. I can't even show you guys anything hardly at all. So here's the infield. There is a little podium down here. Couple of cool little things, tow truck, ace truck. Um, but really it's such a small place, I can't even drive around and show you guys, you know, the pit area or any any parts of the track because it's just, this is it. It's really, really small place. So I guess there's nothing else to do but to go out and do a few laps. So let's wind this thing up and see what it's like. I actually didn't pay attention to what I set the track state to, I apologize, but this is morning for time of day. And this play, I'm, I'm gonna get dizzy driving around here. And the Dirt Legend is a car that is normally pretty easy to drive, but given the, the sheer size of this track and how small it is, I can tell already it's pretty tricky because when you get this car really sideways, it's not actually that easy to drive. And normally the dirt tracks are too big for this car, and you don't really get that sideways. But I'd say we've got a pretty low track state. It's pretty heavy. I don't know if it's 0% or not, but... For me personally, Millbridge is a track that's probably more well known to me for... Like GoPro vision, I've seen heaps and heaps of footage of people racing here in, in micros and stuff like that uh, on you know social media and, and that sort of thing. Let's just get rid of that. Delta, we don't need that. Um, but I've only ever seen a couple of races here uh, like broadcasted. I don't know, fourth gear might not be the gear I want to be in. Let's go back to third. It's a little bit better off the corner. Whoa! You get in the gas and you're in the next corner straight away. But I think that that's a little bit nicer, third gear. More RPM to try and control the car, particularly on the corner exit. That's where I'm really struggling. And if I had to give you my predictions, I'd say that uh, this is not going to be a track that provides great racing on the sim. <laughs> I think that uh, just the proximity of cars, it's going to be an absolute disaster, but 
Anyway, it should be good fun. And I shouldn't doubt everybody, because I've actually had some pretty good races at Chili Bowl before, which is, you know, considerably bigger than this, but still quite small. Sl slowly starting to sort of figure out what I'm doing. One thing that I will say from what I can tell so far, even just looking around, is that the like the quality of the detail at this track is really, really nice. I know all, all iRacing tracks are laser scanned, obviously, but I don't know if it's just because it's so small or or what it is or you know the really high fences you feel like you're really enclosed in this track but the trees and everything up there they don't feel I feel oh, our racing trees kind of feel a little bit fake to me and I probably don't run them at the high enough gra high enough graphic settings to really get the best of them but it doesn't feel like there's any of that here it all feels really really genuine And there's hardly any point trying to drive different lines because there isn't really any. There's a bottom. <laughs> so I don't know about the Dirt Legend. Normally I think this car is actually pretty good fun on all tracks and it's fun but it's quite hard to drive if I'm honest to the point where I don't know that I could enjoy racing it here. But it is a good place for us to start and just have a look. Uh, what I'll do is I'll show you guys a few replay laps here and then come back. And we might move to the non-winged non micro uh, next, then the winged micro and then the midget at the end just for a bit of a laugh. But um, we'll advance the time of day and the track state a little bit and see how we go there in the micro coming up next. Here we go, guys. So I've moved the time of day to the afternoon now and the track state, which I'm not sure what it was at because it was automatically generated before, but uh, I've moved that up to 65%. And we are in this non-winged micro now. So we got couple of gears. I actually didn't know whether or not this would have gears or not. I don't know a lot about micros. I've watched, I reckon I've watched two or three races here at Millbridge in micros before. And I've watched, uh, whoa, 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 a little bit at the Tulsa shootout in years gone by. There is three gears. I don't know which one I'm meant to be in, but I am in on the Millbridge setup that iRacing provide. I reckon I'm meant to be here in third. So I was in the chip pretty hard in second. So first we'll talk about the track because that's really what we're here to look at. And now the track state's up a little bit higher. It makes a lot more sense, like... That cushion's starting to work its way to the wall, which is the... I would say the predominant line around this track. And the time of day, for me, has completely changed the feel of the track. It feels to me a lot more like what I've seen in videos.
Oh, wow. This is not a, uh, this is not a video to really talk about the cars so much, but I'm going to take the opportunity to do so because this is my first time driving this thing. And it is a lot wilder than I was expecting it to be. I really felt like it was going to be a lot slower. Starting to get a bit of a feel for it now. Oh, that's in the fence just. But it is pretty fast. You can kind of see by my inputs, if you're paying attention to them on the screen there, that I'm not using anywhere near as much throttle as I probably thought that I would. Granted, I'm probably not very good at this. Oh, wow. It's just a lot of fun, though. Let's, let's try and move around a little bit, because we're just running around the top at the minute. Got a bit of an idea of how the car drives now, so let's see if we can try and hit the bottom. It's so slow. It's so short, the track, around the bottom. Unlike the Legend, though, it does feel a lot like you can drive the track more in this car. And I mean, in third gear, the bottom's almost too slow. Got to be said that being an Australian, that this is not really a class of car that we have here. We have winged Formula 500s, which is more or less the same as a winged micro but pretty rare to see a wingless version of these cars around this part of the world. We certainly don't have any tracks that I can think of that are like this, except for maybe in someone's backyard somewhere. The more laps I do, the more fun it gets. I think I've started to figure that out, but I can't do it all day. We do need to check out the other car and uh, also the midget yet. So I'll show you guys a few laps of the replay there. And then um, when we come back, check out the winged micro here at Millbridge. Same as before, but now we've got a wing on the top. I'm curious how this, how different this will be, but anyway, we've got... Uh, the winged micro now. We move the time of day to the late afternoon. And we move the track state to 100%. So it's as slippery and as slick as it's meant to get, apparently. And interestingly, straight away... I will say the track does not look as slick as I thought it would for that sort of track state. I'm sure that it would naturally wear a little bit more or differently if uh, you weren't using the pre-gen track states, but that's, uh, that's a surprise straight away. I thought we'd be a lot slicker than this. Oh boy. I'm kind of like trying to feel out how much more corner grip there is with the wing on it. How much do I send it into the corner? Or am I going to risk slamming the fence if I do?
Oh. Get up there. Oh. <laughs> Alright, this is fun. Track's too short, I don't even have time to go for a tear off. When you watch videos of this place, onboard videos, the cars just look like they're. I don't know. When they run up on the top. It's just like the right rear just sits up there and the cars just drive around the top beautifully. And I didn't get it in the, the non-winged car, but in this one I get the feel. Like I can I feel like it's actually winging down on the left rear. Or left hand side. Oh that's into the fence though. When it drives off the corner. I don't know if we might have damaged it a little bit there. Cars rotating a lot more all of a sudden. Alright, let's let's get back to the bottom here and have a look. Oh it's Remember that we're on a hundred percent track state, and although it doesn't look that slick, it probably is. Oh wow! Wow! All right. It's just not. I, I don't see a world where you can run the bottom. Maybe we need to go back a gear. Run down here. Oh, I don't know if it's a track state or what, but I'm not convinced that the bottom's any good. You know what else it could be is the driver. It's just, yeah. It does not handle the bottom at all. To the point where I don't want to do that anymore. I want to go back up here where it's fun. You know what else has really surprised me is that, in my mind, I was sure as anything that I wouldn't like the winged car, I'd like the non-winged one. But this is, on this track anyway, this winged car is a hundred times more enjoyable for me. And that surprised me. Oh yeah, got it again! <laughs> I still think the racing will be absolutely horrendous. Oh, a bit tight. That was fun, guys. That was really fun. Uh, Alright, replay inbound and then we'll come back and check out the midget. This is the car that's a little bit like 
I always finish on a like a, a 410 wing sprint car or a super late model when I do these videos. The big out there fast silly cars. <laughs> I think at this track, the Dirt Midget qualifies, I think it's going to be a silly car. And we, as you can tell, have now moved into the night time. And uh, there is a Millbridge set for it that iRacing have provided, so let's see what happens. I've left the track state at 100%. Which I think in itself says something about the way that this track to me feels different to all the other dirt tracks that we've had. And I don't know if that's to do with this track or if that's to do with the, the changes that have come with this... Oh, wow, wow, wow! That have come with this car... Uh, sorry, that have come with this build. The way that the dirt wears and things like that. Because normally I'll do a 100% state in one car at some point in these videos and it's just so slick you can't drive. For me, 100% of this track actually feels like good, might even be the best. Like, it certainly felt better at 100% than it did at 65, so, oh wow. Guess who sucks at driving midgets? This guy. Maybe we'll just try and stay away from the fence for a minute. As I end up, oh, in the fence anyway, just about. I don't think I've ever been to a track where the midget has felt like a big car. In fact, I know I haven't. Even at the Chili Bowl, it just feels right. Whereas every other track, oh, the midget feels tiny. And here it feels enormous. What we need now for iRacing, that we've got this place, is an Outlaw cart. Finally got a track that we could really use them on, apart from Chili Bowl, of course. I'm all over the place. I feel like, here at the minute, I'm driving like I would normally drive the 410 wingless when I do one of those videos, like... Just holding on. The midget is not normally like that. Oh, that's a bit too far. <laughs> so I think for sure if you try to really drive anything bigger than this on this track, it's just going to be really overkill, which is why I didn't want to do a traditional all dirt cars at dirt track video like I normally do for these because could you imagine driving like the NASCAR truck or a super late model or something like that around here like it's the same size as the track you wouldn't even be able to fit them too wide like even a sprint car around here way too big I think Starting to get a bit of a feel for this now. Oh, yeah, that's right against the fence. Oh, that's... Oh. <laughs> what we were in the wall there. The track still feels like it's got grip in it, even at a 100% track state like this. Well, I'll be really interested to see whether or not this track gets a home here on the sim in some kind of a 
usable format. I feel like I shouldn't call it a gimmick because it's not a gimmick, but a little like the Chili Bowl is not really that practical on iRacing. I think this fits in the same format. Maybe like even a Mount Washington Hill Climb or something like that where it exists, it has its own niche, it's cool that it's here, but I just don't know how practical it will be for a lot of racing. There will be obviously leagues and things that run Millbridge specifically and micros and stuff like that, which will be cool, but I really worry about the quality of the racing around a track like this. It's just so small. If it's not a caution every other corner, I'll be amazed, you know. But I'm only hopeful that I can be proven wrong. At some point, I'm going to do a race here and find out for myself. Now that we've got the, the midget figured out, it is a lot of fun, actually. But once again, I can't just keep turning laps forever. So we'll wrap it up. But guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoyed checking out this track with me here on the sim. And I'm so glad that iRacing scanned it. Because it's just fun and it's good to have. And as always, they've executed it perfectly, I think. It's a very, very nice track. We'll hopefully get some videos up here of a race at this place at some point on the channel. Keep an eye out for that. But thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook at Hobbo88. Twitch.tv forward slash Hobbo88 if you want to check out the live streams. Don't forget the Discord channel. The link is in the description below. That's it for this video, guys. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you the next one.